What's up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'm making today is a simple dish. We're making some chicken pesto pasta. I'm making this for my sister. So Val, if you're watching, you know a brother loves you. Anyway, this is something that is extremely simple to make, whether you're making your own pesto sauce or if you're just buying it from the store. So anyway, I am going to put a link to my uh, pesto recipe in the iCard above and the description below. Why don't you guys come on in and take a look at my ingredients. We're going to be using, like I said, very simple. I had some chicken, actually some leftover chicken, and I just threw a little bit more olive oil on that and threw it in the oven to warm it up. I have a couple bell peppers here, red bell peppers, that I have roasted and I have it in this Ziploc bag because I'm going to take off the skin on them. I have my homemade pesto sauce, which I'll leave a link in the description and the iCard. Some chopped up onions and some pasta. Those are our ingredients. What I need to do is I need to get the skin off of these and chop them up and I'll meet you back. This is an extremely simple recipe. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to cook off our onions just to kind of get them a little softened. I'm going to use just a little canola oil spray because I have enough oil in my pasta or in my pesto sauce so we don't need to add a bunch of oil to it. I'm going to cook this down for a little bit. If you did not, if your peppers were fresh, what you'd want to do is add those now as well, but these are already cooked. Okay, our onions are cooked down pretty soft. I'm going to go ahead and add our roasted red peppers. And then our chicken. I probably have a little bit too much chicken, but uh, that'll work well in a future recipe. You know what, this should be fine for one batch. Turn this heat up just a little bit. I had that on low. And we're going to add our pesto sauce now. And I'm right at a, like a medium low right now. And if we need more pesto sauce as we go, we can go ahead and add that and it won't be any problem. So I'm going to get this all incorporated in real good and let this cook for another couple minutes. Right about where I want it, the sauce has kind of thinned out a little bit. If it's not thinned out to your liking, just add a little bit of the leftover pasta sauce or pasta water or go ahead and just add some water or wine to it. Anyway, that's about where I want it. Normally what I would do would be to add the pasta into uh, into this mixture, but it looks like I have more of this sauce than I need, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to my pasta. And this is one of those things you can have as much or as little as you'd like. Let me go ahead and eat that. Okay, that looks good to me. Now, I have some of this leftover pesto sauce. I'm going to go ahead and add this in with this. Then just cook it in just to make sure it's blended. Then what I'm going to do for, with this is I'm going to go ahead and freeze this in a freezer safe Ziploc bag. And next time it's just me and my wife, I have a sauce that's already made up. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and plate this, take a taste test, and then we're out. This is a done deal, and Mason is going to go ahead and provide this taste test since this is his last week in high school. Go ahead and knock out that taste. Okay. Okay. So how does it taste? Don't leave us in suspense. The pasta is great, cooked perfectly. The red peppers in there are nice. The chicken, nice and tender. Saw him cook it last night, real good. All right, so it looks like that is a winner. Go ahead, Mason, take us out of here. Thanks for stopping by No Hobby, no Hobby Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.